Hi, Dave here at the shop. I'm working on a project here that uh, it's a TV cabinet uh, with bifold pocket doors. Uh, when I was asked to do this project, I searched all over for an off-the-shelf hardware system that would that would work for this application, and I couldn't find anything. So, if any of you know uh, of anything like that, please please let me know. Uh, leave it in the comments uh, below if you would. Um, there are plenty of others that will probably appreciate it also. So the system here starts with a flipper door hardware uh, system. Um, flipper door hardware is only intended to be used with one door. So when you add a second door, it adds a few complications to the, to the matter. Um, and I'll show you what those are. Now the flipper door hardware is available in a few different variations. Uh, they're generally the same. Uh, basically hinges attached to a, a slide um, but the fundamental difference is in how they synchronize the two slides so that there's no drooping of the door when it gets perpendicular to the cabinet. Uh, some systems use simply a, a piece of wood that attaches the two, the two arrangements together and keeps them from, keeps them from racking in the opening. Uh, another method is um, a cable system that runs diagonally in the next formation on little pulleys that mount. Um, and this system that I'm using here is a rack and pinion system, which I'll show you. Now this, this flipper hardware is made by uh, Knapp and Volt, uh, also known as KV. Um, I have no affiliation with them, so this is just my preference to use this. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One is I think the rack and pinion system of synchronization is, is uh, superior to the others. Uh, there's almost no no slop, uh, no tolerance in it when the doors are perpendicular under the weight of the doors. Um, another reason I like this is the double hinges on each track, on each uh, slide. That adds a lot of rigidity to the uh, to the system. So I can show you how they operate here. Um, operates fairly smoothly. I found that it was necessary to contain this door from flopping around, so I use some rollers, top and bottom, in a track, um, and keep things orderly. The rollers I used are simply replacement parts for closet door bifold uh, doors that you would find. Uh, you can find typically in, in any hardware store as, as replacement parts. Uh, it does require a mounting block that you have to fabricate to mount those because the roller has to be attached to the back of the door, not in under the center of the door since this is an inset door. Uh, the roller actually rides against the back of the face frame in the, in the track. So all these flipper door systems require a roller in this, in this location and that roller is necessary to keep the door perpendicular as it's riding into the cabinet. Uh, without that roller it would be possible to close the door prematurely which will cause the door to hit the hardware in the back and cause damage to the door itself. So that roller is necessary. Now the two doors are attached with just some fixed pin uh, surface mount hinges on the back side. Um, this little screw here, and there's also another one at the top, is necessary to keep the door from closing beyond flush with the face frame. Uh, the hinges that are supplied with this hardware are self-closing hinges, so they keep tension on the door when it's in the closed position. So without those screws as a stop, 
since you can't apply a stop to the inside of the cabinet since it would interfere with the track um, those screws maintain the margin here and keep the doors from from going in too far and makes it very easy to adjust to adjust and maintain that margin and to keep keep them flush with the face frame now there are a couple of drawbacks to this system one being the door to the right the second door actually needs to be wider than the first door and the reason for that is when the door is perpendicular to the cabinet and before it is retracted the back of the door is even back of the first door that is is even with the back of the face frame so the width of the second door is wider than the first door by an amount equal to the width of your roller at the bottom and in this case it's seven eighths so I hope you found this helpful and uh, I definitely appreciate any comments you might have uh, you can leave those in the comment section below and again if you know of any complete hardware solutions for this application uh, let us know. So thanks for watching.